Jalgaon district is located in the northwest region of the state of Maharashtra. It is bound by Satpura mountain ranges in the north and Ajanta mountain ranges in the south. The district hosts a population of about 4 million in an area of about 11,700 square kilometers and the main occupation of the people here is agriculture. Jalgaon is rich in volcanic soil which is well suited for cotton production. It is also a major business center for pulses, cotton and bananas. These are the Ajanta Caves. One of the major international tourist hubs in the state of Maharashtra. About 50 kilometers from these caves is Jalgaon district, which equally has a glorious past. Over centuries, the district has witnessed Khandesh Sultanate, ruled by Faruqi dynasty, Mughal Empire, Nizams, Marathas, and British East India Company. It was here 2005, and today, after six years, the vivid memories of devastation are still fresh in the minds of the people. The state of Maharashtra saw unprecedented rains and floods. The financial losses incurred were huge, and the human lives lost were tragic. On one side, the state was suffering from the wrath of rain gods. And on the other side, there were many districts which were facing drought due to scarce rainfall in 2005. On one side, the state was suffering from these losses and trying to come back to normalcy. On the other side, there was one district which took advantage of the situation and was trying to create history with its new initiative called River Linking Project. This is just one side of the coin. The other side is much more grim and dark. The entire Jalgaon district is drought prone and nearly 71% of its population lives in rural areas. Since most of the population is engaged in agriculture, irrigation is a major problem for the district and they are mostly dependent on rain, which is a rare commodity. Ramesh Patil is a cotton farmer who lives in one of the villages of Jalgaon district. Ramesh Patil and few other farmers grow cotton together and the profit of the crop is shared equally amongst the partners. But until 2005, profit was minimal since they didn't have better irrigation facilities. If the rain was good, they could have some profit. And if there was no rain, then the partners had to bear losses. Debt was another burden that these poor cotton farmers had been bearing over the years. पहले जब पानी नहीं था तो दोनों मिलके जो खेती करते थे तो पानी के हिसाब से हमको उधार और सनवार काम लेकर खेती करना पड़ता था ये साल से वह साल तक टिपना मुंह मुश्किल हो जाता पैसे लेन-देन सब कट नहीं आती थी पानी के हिसाब से जब सब ड्राई एरिया था ना तो ड्राई एरिया के हिसाब से फसल नहीं आती थी तो फिर हमको दोनों को कट नहीं झेलनी पड़ती थी ये साल से ये आमदनी तो आमदनी तक हमको बहुत उधारों सनवार उठा के खेती करना पड़ती थी। In another nearby village lives Prahlad Shankar Patel, who majorly grows pulses and bananas on his fields. The situation was not so different for him also. आज चार दावर से पहले 
आमच्या तिथून नदीमध्ये ढोरो धुण्याला सुद्धा पाणी राहत नव्हतं द प्रिन्सिपल नॅचरल फीचर ऑफ जलगाव इज द तापते रिव्हर अनलाइक द रेस्ट ऑफ द डेकन whose rivers rise in the western ghats and flow eastwards to the bay of bengal the tapti flows westward from headwaters in eastern maharashtra to empty into the arabian sea the tapti receives 13 principal tributaries in its course through kandesh region none of the rivers is navigable and the tapti flows in a deep bed which historically made it difficult to use for irrigation It was not only the irrigation but majority of populace even suffered from the lack of drinking water facility to overcome this problem and provide water for drinking purposes usually in times of scarcity new bore wells used to be dug temporary water supply schemes tpws for existing water supply schemes were used or as a last measure tankers used to be deployed Such an approach involved expenditure of crores of rupees every year. Moreover, this expenditure did not create any permanent asset. The option of providing water tankers to tackle scarcity was also not sustainable. Kajgaav gaavathil, amnala daa varsha purvi pani nahi bedto do amala. Pani kam jada hone se fasal kam jada hoti thi. Ha, barish nahi hone se, yani hukmi pani nahi tha na hamare paas. तो फिर निसर्ग जो साथ देता था उसमें हम गुजरान करते थे द सिचुएशन इन जलगांव वॉज होपलेस बट द इयर टू थाउजेंड फाइव गेव दैम सम होप एंड दे कुड सी सम लाइट एट द एंड ऑफ द टनल इन टू थाउजेंड फाइव लाइक एनी इयर द जलगांव डिस्ट्रिक्ट वॉज अनफॉर्चुनेट टू रिसीव स्कैंटी रेंज वाइल मोस्ट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र वॉज एक्सपीरियंसिंग फ्लड लाइक सिचुएशन The Jalgaon district had received less than average rainfall and seven tehsils of Jalgaon district were in particular largely affected. There was no runoff water in the rivers and nalas. Consequently, all water reservoirs were empty and groundwater level was depleting. While in the neighboring Nashik district, the Girna dam was overflowing. So this excess water from the Girna dam which was otherwise going waste had the potential of being diverted to the water scarce regions of Jalgaon the diversion of the surplus water from one region to the needy areas will avert the perennial danger of floods and thus effectively harness the natural resources available though the concept of transferring water from one basin to another is not new but it was implemented for the first time in india and promises to constitute the first step in taking up major river linking initiatives across the country the man behind this successful initiative that has changed the situation of jalgaon was shri vijay singhal the then collector and district magistrate of jalgaon when there was a heavy flood in maharashtra including mumbai but at the same time there was no rains in the district jalga there is adjoining district nashik in which girna dam is there nashik was flooding and girna dam got filled in the mid of july at the same time there was a flood all along the girna river in the 140 km length of uh, uh, this river but uh, there was no water otherwise in the rest of the jalgaon districts it was a peculiar situation so i was dealing with two natural calamity one was the flood all along the river and at the same time the scarcity in the entire districts so that means that, that that point of time this idea came how to divert the overflowing water of the river which was otherwise going based into the arabian sea to divert it to the needy areas so uh, this is to use the uh, flood water for the needy area scarcity area and to provide the water for the irrigation as well as the drinking purpose it was decided that the excess water in the girna dam would be diverted to the water scarce regions in the jalgaon district by interlinking various rivers 
the citizens were involved in the planning. Taking suggestions from local villagers and assessing their technical feasibility was an integral component of the project. Initially there was a fear in mind that there might be some kind of opposition because when you start something new, you, there is always hurdles bound to be there. When we implemented a river linking project in a one pocket, they, get, they got the water. They got the water because of that there is so much of thousand of hectares of area got irrigated. People got, water, people got very happy. The local villagers willingly parted with parts of their land to enable the interlinking of rivers. सर्वांनी ते मनावर घेतलं की या ठिकाणी आता हे सार्वजनिक हित आहे आणि सर्व लोकांना या ठिकाणी या पाण्याचा फायदा होणार म्हणून या माझ्या शेजारच्या शेजार शेतकऱ्यांनी त्यांच्या स्वतःच्या जमिनी चारी खोदण्यासाठी शासनाला मोफत दिल्या मी माझी मालकीची जमीन नदीजोर पलकडकासाठी ज सरकारला मोफत दिलेली आहे की आमच्या जेणेकरून आमच्या शेतामधून पाणी जायला पाहिजे आणि ती पाणी बोरकडा बुद्रुक तलावामध्ये पडायला पाहिजे द फॅक्ट दॅट नॉट अ सिंगल वॉइस वॉज रेस्ड इन ऑपोजिशन टू द प्रोजेक्ट इज अ टेस्टमनी टू द सक्सेस ऑफ द पार्टिसिपेटरी अप्रोच इन प्लॅनिंग इट वॉज स्ट्रॅटेजाइज दॅट एक्झिस्टिंग कनाल्स वर टू बी यूज टू द मॅक्सिम एक्सटेंट पॉसिबल these canals were repaired and their capacities enhanced by desilting and raising embankment heights the existing natural big drains river beds and channels were also used to a large extent and also additional canals and channels were dug wherever required the project was planned in such a manner that the natural contours and gravity would be fully utilized in the diversion of water This was critical not only to keep costs and maintenance low but also to impart sustainability to the project. See uh, river linking what according to the need of the time because there was a flooding in our Girna river. So at that time my task was to divert the Girna water to other various rivers. So I diverted the Girna water to some three rivers like Buri, Anjani and Trutitur. Even some small, medium and the big dam also. Even the small, small weirs, Bandara, Band to, uh, to the, uh, the, these places. So this all done accordingly within the three months. The overall project has five links. To understand it in a better way, let's take a look at this map. The excess flood waters in the Panzan left bank canal were diverted and then the canal was breached at 31st kilometer and water was diverted into a local nala which flows and joins the Bori river by traveling a distance of 6 kilometers by gravity. The Bori river flows 35 kilometers towards the eastern side and reaches the Bori dam situated in the Jalgaon district. This way water traveled nearly about 68 kilometers the overflowing water was released from the girna dam into the girna river and then into jamda veer jamda left canal and from here to parola branch canal and then water was released in anjani river and kalabandhara this way water traveled 127 kilometers the overflowing water was released from the girna dam into the Girna River and then through the Jamda Bandhara diverted into the Jamda Right Canal. From this canal the water passed into a brook and then successfully into the Titu River, Hol Bandhara, Balar Bandhara, Vadgaon Bandhara and back again into the Titu River. This way water traveled 84 kilometers. The overflowing water was released from the Girna Dam into the Girna River. and then through the jamda bandhara water was diverted into the jamda left canal which connected to the parola branch canal then the water reached the masava dam from here water was channelized to the pokharwari dam this long journey of the water of 132 kilometers has enriched the pokharwari and masava projects water was released from the girna dam into the girna river and then into the Jamda Bandhara, the Girna River and Dahigaon Bandhara successfully. From there, the water passed into the lower Girna Canal and then through the brook, 
this water was channelized and released into the Anjani River and then stored in the Pimpri Bandhara. In this last stage, the water traveled 186 kilometers. It was a Herculean task, no doubt, because I had to plan everything within a short span of two to three months. Otherwise, water would have gone waste into the Arabian Sea and planning would have remained on the paper. The first of the first problem is how to get the funds and the money for doing such a project. Another problem was that land acquisition. As we know, land acquisition is a complicated pro process. Had we gone for the uh, land acquisition process, regular land acquisition process, it would, have, it would have taken years. We convinced that agriculturists, we convinced the stakeholders, you kindly donate the land and they were happy to donate the land. The project provided tangible and immediate benefit to the local people. It solved drinking water problems of one municipal corporation, five municipal councils and 123 villages. Nearly 8.5 lakh people have been benefited from this unique initiative. The increased water availability for drinking purposes has done away with the need for tanker water supply, implying a savings of about 9 crore rupees per annum. The project has helped increase the area under irrigation from 13,000 hectares in 2005 to 30,000 hectares in 2008. Total estimated benefits received by agriculturists ranged between 25 to 30 crore rupees annually. Total around 700 medium small dams, KTV, village tanks and percolation tanks were filled and more than 16,000 water wells were recharged because of this river connectivity project. With improved socio-economic conditions, the farmers of the district have stopped their migration to cities. According to a report, the overall financial benefit is around 45 to 50 crore rupees annually and these benefits recurring every year and year. Conditions, the farmers of the district have stopped their migration to cities. According to a report, the overall financial benefit is around 45 to 50 crore rupees annually and these benefits recurring every year and year. Every year we have got the water from the KTV lift. We have got Kapas, Makka, Gehu, Chana and Mosambi. सबकी आमदनी बहुत आने लग गई तो मेरे हिसाब से मेरा लिपटे देखकर लोगों ने फिर और गांव में दूसरे लोगों ने भी की फिर तो उनके भी हिसाब से उनकी भी आमदनी बढ़ी सारे गांव की आबादी आबाद हो गई केटीवेर के हिसाब से गांव को पीने के पानी की जो बावली है उसको ज़्यादा पानी बढ़ गया तो फिर गाँव में भी पानी पीने की टंचाई दूर हो गई और खेती में भी पानी बहुत आबादी आबाद हो गया हमारी व्यथा जान के उन्होंने ये जलगाँव जिले में क्या कचगाँव हिंगोना आनी पासरडी ये गांवन को केटीवर भान के शुभलम सफलम लाखों ये कर में पानी हुआ है ये पानी होने के वजह से हमारे बाल बच्चे देश पर जाते थे वो परत आ जाए ले। The Maharashtra state government has recognized the immense potential of projects and accordingly issued a government resolution to implement projects in every district along the lines of the Jalgaon river linking project. The success of this initiative has encouraged government and districts to make allocations for such projects every year in the budget as parts of a regular planned scheme. An economic survey has shown that the project has been widely accepted by the people of the district. The day is not far when it would be implemented across the country and millions of farmers would reap its benefits. पानी जमा जाल्या नंतर आमच्या शेतीत आम्ही काही पिकवत नव्हतं पहिले अगोदर त्या शेतीत आता हे पाणी जमल्यामुळे आम्हाला भरपूर पिकाचे उत्पन्न मिळत आहे द रिव्हर लिंकिंग प्रोजेक्ट हॅज बीन अप्रिशिएटेड बाय द ऑनरेबल प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया मिनिस्टर ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर अँड अदर डिग्नेटरीज द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ राजस्थान हॅज ऑल्सो बीन इम्प्रेस्ड बाय द प्रोजेक्ट फॉर हिज व्हिजन लीडरशिप क्वालिटी टू लीड अ मल्टी एजन्सी टीम and winning the confidence of the people of the district, Sri Vijay Singhal has been awarded by the Prime Minister Ward for excellence in administration. <laughs>